Hey everyone, it's your favorite monkey and welcome back to Starbase. And today we are going to continue working on the ship, but I want to quickly show you guys like what I've done in the background. So it's been, well, a day since the last recording, I would say around there. Also, I just quickly want to remind everybody that um, I am streaming Starbase every Saturday on my Twitch channel. Just look in the description down below. If you want a link to my Twitch channel and also... Uh, these episodes are recorded like kind of constantly back to back from each other. So if you guys give me like detail or some great information on some of the videos, then it takes me some time to, you know, impli implicate to use that information. Let's put it that way. Yeah. All right. So let me show you guys like what I've done. Um, yeah, from the front, not much, but like I said, it's been a day or so since the last recording, and I had some issues with the backside of the um, uh, the Loxodonta, and I think I finally figured out a way to use the backside. But anyway, so uh, before we head on to the backside, let me show you guys over here. I think I'm going to keep this open because it will be much easier to get in, unless somebody can give me a good pointer on how to, you know, close up this hole. Uh, if you want to know the um, dimensions. Okay, we will check the uh, dimensions after I've done with this. But yeah, uh, I cannot get this thing to close. I've tried glass. I've tried uh, plates. I just ca I cannot. I cannot do it. I give up. So there are new entrances, entrance holes, entrance holes for us to get in. Because it is quite a big ship. And uh, yeah, so that is that. I s we are still, we are, I think at the later stage we'll in install the elevators. Um, because there's a thing like if you if the ship moves forward, the um, elevator falls off its rails or something. So yeah, there, that might be a thing. Hence we have the holes here at the sides. So yeah, and then I went and created the spine for this. Finally, uh, there's going to be rails coming down both sides of this, so we don't fall off. But I'm going to keep this. This is com going to be completed, um, and this is going to remain open. So yeah, well, obviously with lighting and whatnot. And then we have a drop a drop hole. Yes, a long drop. Which we can access the uh, engine room. Like so. And like so. I, I like this. I've seen it. Um, Simulator Haven. He gave me a, like, uh, I was watching one of his, uh, oh, like, um, streams. And he had something like on his Bastet. I think it's a ship called, a big, also a mega hauler. Um, who had one of these. But his was a little bit smaller. Uh, and was both ways. Mine is just like this very long drop. That's all. It's nothing more, nothing less. And then we get into the engine room. And instead of 8, we have 16 of these uh, generators. Well, not generators. The uh, fuel cells holders. And then the generators in each of these cells have 3 generators behind them. So 16 times 3, basically. Um, so I hope that's enough power generation. Then we have our uh, propellants upstairs. Over here. And then I was thinking of either up here or underneath the um, carrier. We will, or not carrier, the mega hauler. Underneath it, we will have the um, batteries. And then we're going to hook this up and see how she goes. It's, it's sort of almost ready for flight. It can take flight, but not yet. Not yet. We will, we will get there. And I was thinking of, oh yeah, let me show you guys the, what I've done with the backside. Is basically this. So we have four thrusters there at the back. Uh, like this, this took me forever. I wanted to slant it down. I wanted to have a circle or a U shape here at the back, but then it, it becomes that thing at the front. How do you close it down? How do you, you know, plate it so it can be enclosed? So that was kind of the thing. And uh, yeah, so I got this idea. And also these are entrance ways, this side and that side. So you're going to have an entrance over here, a doorway over here and on that side to get in here. So you can access the cockpit that way. Uh, you're going to have access that way to the elevators and up. And so, yeah, many entrances, many, many cool things. We have all of these. And uh, yeah, and also, like I said, underneath, we still need to do something. You know, otherwise it'd be flat as an ironing board and we don't really want that. Um, so we're going to see if we can do a little bit of a curve, like a, a bit of a slant straight on and slant back. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. All right. All right. Cool. And uh, yeah, so this is how she looks in her, in her full glory. Well, not really a full glory. She's still in the skeletal phase. Uh, but yeah, I'm eager to get back into this. Um, 
just trying to think what what I wanted to do today. Um, I maybe I, I want to say plating, but no, plating comes later. Plating is the last thing you want to do. Um, test plate? No, not really. There is something. There is something I wanted to do. I've completely forgot. This is the whole reason why I started the recording. Like a complete. What? What the hell? Um. Maybe. Maybe. Eh. Let me think. Hmm. You know what we can do? This is what we're gonna do. All right. We are gonna add the manure thrusters, but we are not gonna use the regular ones, the uh, the small manure thrusters, the white ones. We're gonna use angle thrusters or triangle thrusters. Um, but they come in a nice box shape. I've used them on my stream on the um, Zubimaro. That's my first ship, and it's a mining ship. So, yeah, that's its name. Uh, basically this. Let's go to spaceship modules to the, this one. Um, where is it? Triangle thruster. So, we're going to use one of these bad boys. Well, not one. We're going to use a couple of them. Uh, like so. And then we select it. And we press shift and pull it out. Y? 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 No. Z? 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 Z and Z. Same thing. Like that. And like that. No, 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 no. Touch. Kiss. Kiss each other. Oh. Here we go. Damn it. Here we go. Great stuff. So, yeah. Now it, it is in a nice box shape. And we only need what nice is about these uh, th uh, triangle thrusters. If, if one is attached to the other, they both will work. So, you only have need only one hard point. So, yeah, I was thinking, um, I don't know if rolling is going to be a thing. We can add that later if we need it. But I think I'm going to skip on the roll. Okay. But turning left, turning right, pitching up, pitching down. Um, I think it will be fine. Maybe roll. I don't know. We will see. We will see if, if there's space. If there's space, we'll put it. Yeah. So we're going to have one at the bottom, one at the top. Okay. Somewhere around here. Just have it in line. Uh, because if we have it there, then there is going to be like, we have to move things and whatnot. Um, and I kind of want to keep this open for all sorts of panels and indicate like uh, electronics, you know, um, anything that displays some information for us, like uh, GPS systems and fuel and, you know, whatever, whatever, you know. Uh, so maybe here. Let's see. Yeah, about where this entrance is. Yeah, so around here sort of there and then there we're gonna have one shooting up one shooting down um same at the back but way at the back where the these between these two thrusters and those two we're gonna put those two there um and also on the sides over there and on the opposite side and over here at the front same there same there so we have our up down left right um yeah and then we will see about roll we, we will see when we get there but uh yeah all right, so let me get to work. Let's see what I can do. And I will be right back. So hold on tight. All right, welcome back. So um, let me start over here. So I got these two installed and they are ready to rock and roll. Uh, I'm just thinking about the, just literally the size of the ship. If one, well, two angle thrusters are going to be enough. Now... I think they might be, even though mm, we will have to try to get this thing into a test flight mode in order just to see if everything turns. See, the, the, the ship is, well, technically done. You know, the frame is there and whatnot. Oh, and I forgot to mention that up here, I'm going to put a massive amount of radiators. Uh, I don't know if we can have too many radiators, but uh, we will see about that. Anyways, um, yeah, just the sheer size of the ship... I was thinking, well, maybe these won't be enough. Maybe we'll need more. Um, which I don't think is going to be a problem, adding three more, you know. Um, I kind of started with the plating here at the front just to, you know, to see how it's going to affect this thruster. So I think it is fine. Yeah, I think it is. Um, but I haven't done this bottom one yet because I kind of want to get started with the, you know, the... Um, this now this is going to be the same issue as ab above as above so below as below so above or what what's that saying i don't know we might have to see if we cannot plate this up and then move these guys to over here this beam and have them start here 
I think that might be a better solution uh, rather than you know have it curve here like we did with uh, at the flight deck and having issues with um, trying to fill in the, these corners um, doing plating in these corners fine you know it, it's good it's fine um, if it's a flat surface but once it becomes you know um, worked on you know uh, extra beams being used then it becomes an issue like you like bulge out basically um, but yeah so I don't know um, what I'll do is I'm going to connect these two beams to the back right from here to the back and then um, I'm going to add this thruster the the manure thruster and then see if we cannot maybe at the end of the episode get a test flight going I know there is something to do with the um, plasma thruster like it has to charge charge up before being used but we will see there is a video I have a reference which I can use and we will see about that and then yeah I think that is it so let me see if I cannot get the get everything done in a working order and then we will return for a test flight this baby might fly today yeah all right hold on guys I'll be right back all right welcome back and for you guys it might have been just a second or whatnot for me it has literally been a day between uh the cuts of the episode so yeah i was just trying to get this um whole ship into a flying condition or at least started flying and uh that took a very long time and i decided to go with radiators instead of cooling cells because otherwise we have to replace once in a while the cooling cells so i had many many issues with these generators um but i think i got that sorted out i got everything hooked up connected have the side thrusters and whatnot and uh, added the batteries down there uh, i still don't know what we're going to do with this section it might be a big empty area with just a, uh, a slope to the entrance of the engine room and yeah there's also something else i have to do because i get keep getting caught in these two corners if we uh, jump up from there so yeah that is a thing but anyways you guys probably want to see this baby in action and we will do that right now um just a quick you want to point out you know let's let's just exit out of here i had an issue with the um, plasma thruster um but it turns out that it was all about patience i just had to wait so um I hooked up after the issues of the generators and the coolings i don't know if these radiators do need power but i went ahead and added them anyway um but i feel like it should be a thing because a radiator these recycle so i feel like the uh, base inside has a little pump that pumps the coolant i think that's what it does i mean uh press power and a pipe okay yeah there we go okay yeah i was i was i was correct okay anyways so yeah um then i thought like I, i've struggled for a very long time to figure out like what is wrong with this thing but um we just have to keep an eye on the charge level so let's just go up here and what i've done is i've added a progress bar that shows us if the thing has charged or not or, or, or not <laughs> what what's going on let's quickly hop down here do this okay so yeah it does that sometimes so if we keep it is active we have activated it it's charging up and once it reaches one then it this baby is now don't punch don't punch. The last time I did that, like, I got durability errors. <laughs> Anyways, let's go over here into the seat. And as we can see, there it is. And yeah, she's flying, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Now, the problem is I don't really have upwards. I do have only downwards, which is fine, I guess. 
But no, it's not fine. It's not fine. I don't know why I even said that. It is... Yeah, there, I, think, I feel like there must be more uh, maneuver thrusters and whatnot. But if we just push this one... I don't know if we can turn, though. Yeah, we can turn. Let's turn to the left. This thing goes. This thing is actually very fast. Without the crates, this thing is very fast. Look at this. It's, it is stupid fast. I'm actually quite surprised if a ship of this size is as fast as, as, as it really is. All right. And if we go look at the back, that's just a blue flame from um, the side thruster, the manure thruster that is shooting out. And if we go up here, there it is. The thruster is firing. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. And that trail is really long. But yeah, that's a, that's really, really cool. I love that. It is awesome. So let's go ahead and jump back to the editor. And I was thinking, you know what? I think what I'm going to do in between this episode and next episode is just to get it in a stable flying condition. And then I still don't really know what we're going to do. Maybe we can start with the plating or maybe troubleshooting. Um, add the crates back in here. And then load it up with the virtual mass so that we can see like where it, where are the issues. If it's become too heavy or whatnot, if we do need more thrusters or anything. And also another thing I did was I took away one of the rings and added one of, one of the struts. Because the problem with me is those rings that don't have these struts is you have to bolt the living crap out of them. I don't know if it's because of this frame or whatnot, but what I like, this only thing I've done to counter that issue is add the rings with the struts and just build a frame around that. And that worked perfectly, 100%. Otherwise, it would just fall off. It would bring the ship's warp mass down to like 0 0.02 or something. So yeah, and I love it. I love it how, how it's starting to look and everything. It is quite big. It feels like it shrunk. To be honest, it feels like it, it, it from top to bottom, it shrunk, but it's still a big ship. But yeah, I think that is it for today. Thanks so much for joining me here on Starbase. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.